three days since the um, injury and the surgery. Yep. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's um, I, all the surgery went all well, so um, all good on that front, and um, just a little bit sore, not too bad, just I think from the from the actual surgery itself. So um, just been resting it up, really icing it up, and just trying to stay off it, and um, yeah, listen to what the surgeon has to say, and I think I see him about in a, oh, ten days post op, so um, yeah, I'll just catch him then, and then see where we go from there. From the um where we saw it, it seemed to be a pretty innocuous incident. Can you sort of talk us through what happened and how yeah, it happened? Yeah, there, there wasn't a whole lot in. I sort of um, got a handle receive and I sort of um, went around one play and sort of another tackle come from sort of my sort of behind me and it, I don't know, I just sort of felt the tackle dished off a handle. I think my leg got maybe stuck or I've planted pretty hard on my foot but it wasn't a whole lot in it and I'd thought um, Initially, I just thought, because I got a bit of patellar tendonitis like in my knee, so I thought I'd either just knocked it on the grass or his knees come across and hit my knee. So I just initially I thought it was um, that sort of soreness, but um, and I thought oh, I could run it off or something like that and it'd be fine. But as soon as I went to go run, it was just like locking up and um, yeah, I just felt like I was, it was like my leg was just giving away or something. So I was like, that can't be, can't be too, I like, can't be right. And then um, yeah, and then I, sort of looked at it, it swelled up pretty quick and I was like, I'm not too sure, like kneecap was a little bit little bit high um, and then yeah, I just was like, when to go run again? And then I was like, nah, I can't run. Um, then that's when the trainers were, um, Vinny was there and Cookie would come out, so, um, and yeah, went down the change rooms and um, got it assessed. Was it painful? Uh, it, it was, yeah, yeah, it was a little bit painful, but it was more just like a shock of like when I went to go run and just like, oh, well, what's going on here? Like, it's a bit more like of a shock, but when I went um, downstairs, I just couldn't like. So when I when I went to bend it, it was just like that's when it was probably the most painful. Um, they tried to get me to like sort of bend it up and push it out, but I had almost no power there at all. Um, and the doc told you pretty well straight away what he thought it was. And yeah, he was. What, what, did that, what was the message to you? And did you sort of then say, "Oh, well, what does that mean?" Or. Oh uh, yeah, it was. It was pretty confident of, um, like, what it was. Just sort of, um, uh, yeah, how how he sort of felt and looked at it and stuff. Um, and once he said what it was, I'd sort of um, across, like, it's a pretty serious injury because my brother had done it maybe. A year and a half ago, I reckon. Um, so I knew it was a longer one, and um, yeah, it was just it was pretty disappointing. Obviously, um, you know, to, oh, after last year, and then um, to get sort of through the preseason and then play sort of a pracky match, and it to happen then was pretty pretty flattening. And that had you had a good preseason, all things considered, what you were coming up last year. Yeah, yeah, I felt I felt really good. So um, my body felt yeah very good, and I was ready to ready to go so um, yeah all things were going well but you see things you can't really they just happen out of nowhere so you can't control it um, just control what you control and, and get it right and be back next year. What sort of supporters have you had from either fans or the club or your teammates? Yeah it's been um, unreal the support really um, I've had you know a heap of messages from um, the boys, um, coaches, um, even you know um, John Olsen He's, he's, he rang me up the other, the other day um, and then supporters obviously just um, through my social media and stuff they've been they've been pretty su um, supportive and um, sending messages and stuff like that um, so yeah support's been pretty unreal a um, couple of visitors at the hospital and stuff um, yeah I couldn't have they couldn't have done it any better really I, I thought and what are the next few weeks look like for your resting and start your rehab yes yeah, so I think um, yeah, just resting up for sort of the next well, 10 days to two weeks um, and uh, then I'll see the, the surgeon um, probably next week sometime um, and then yeah, we'll go from there. I guess I'm not too sure what the guys from there. I think I'll meet um, uh, Emma Barr and my manager and sort of discuss what we can do over the next sort of, you know, few months just to keep myself busy and um, what I'm going to, what I'll do around the club and stuff like that. So um, meet with them uh, later on in the week and um, and and sort all that out.
Sounds like you'll be pretty busy on the home front in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Expecting you to become a dad. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, 37 weeks now. So um, it's pretty much any time now we're we're, we're expecting. So um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty flat out, um, but exciting. Um, yeah, we're pretty happy and can't wait for him to come along.